<laughs> since Joel did his little, I just want to talk to all Manchester. That guy called out what Harry Pinero, me, <laughs> you. Like, since he listed all the United fans that he's heard of, right? You lot haven't won a game, Joel. Tell you a true story, right? Maybe, maybe true. Casemiro just grabbed me by the back of the head. Doing the on Sunday. Let's f***ing go up the Reds. Maybe, maybe. We've all got the same with front three. No. Are you the Haaland? Instead of who? Instead of Mbappe? <laughs> 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 And I know how much that hurt you to put that in, because he's at City. I think you need to bend your knees more. That's what I've heard them say. I Got all in the hips. But so send you back in that Senegal fan. The, the Senegal fan. <laughs> <laughs> Get that, get this, get that. <laughs> Look, someone need a camera on this. It hit it that far. <laughs> Yo, how many Do you know what's weird? Let me ask you another question. So you're a United fan. You, you told me I had to. United. No, it's, no, it's, it's not. not. It's, it's, yeah, United. There's, there's no T in United. United. Yeah, there you go. Get, so in, can get I, in there. Can I come it's to the game you. with you? And, it's certainly you, not you. 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 How, how then? Yeah. Yeah, United. Yeah, United. Yeah, United. No, not Ed. Uh, Id. What then? Id. Jesus Christ, man. How long you lived in Manchester? You've not, not got the accent down. Oh, sorry, I'm not from here. Anyway, you're, you're a Man U fan. Uh, you're going to get told off. You're in a, you, oh, jeez, you're a Man United fan. United you, you've fan. taught me that. United. Yeah, he's taught me. It's United. It's United. United. Uh, that's the scout. <laughs> But what part of Birkenhead that was from? My name's Mary. I play for Manchester United, the biggest team in the world. I play for Manchester United, the biggest team in the world. And I'm the best goalkeeper in the world. And I'm the best goalkeeper in the world. Yes. <laughs> if I'm paying to watch him play, I'll go Stevie. That's a that's a good way to look at it. He's, he's, what he's thinking is, why well, would I want a five yard pass when he could kick it out <laughs> for 60 <laughs> for do. a goal kick? No, no, but that's the way I look at these two. <laughs> They used to let him guy managed them sixty yard it out for a goal kick. That's what Steven Gerrard did, wasn't it? So he's known for. What else is he known for? Oh, having the positional discipline of a paper bag in the wind. No. I'm trying to do a, an all time overrated eleven and I've been toying, Overrated? Yeah, yeah. I've been toying with the idea of putting Robbie Fowler up front, but then I've been looking into it. Overrated? Like, hey, let me finish. Right? Yeah. And comments, then he had like three seasons smoke. where he had over 30 goals and you go, nah, I can't throw him in for that. He's got to be worse once than that. Okay, oh, give me your but, team. I need to see your team on this, please. Give me, I, give, me give us a couple of your players. Give me a couple who are in there. Do you know who's in there? Give me a couple You're gonna put Steven Gerrard's got the captain. Steven Gerrard's got the armband in your team. Yeah, let's be honest, of course he has. Go on, give me give me two. More, I'm gonna work on it. He's gonna have John Terry in there. He's yeah, definitely gonna have John Terry. Don't worry about that. He's yeah. not. But he can't. Of course he is. What? Come on. You can't have Stephen Gerrard and John Terry in your overrated team. Of course he knows team. Steve. Dan Zidane's in there as well. Don't you worry oh, about him. Ah, you need to stop. Anyway, let's just move. Who do you like? A lot of people. Start, name one. Paolo Maldini. <laughs> why? Why? Why him? Like why? Absolute master of the game. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah. Hey, no, throw one out. Dwight York. Yeah. I've been on a piss with Dwight York. <laughs> Have you actually been on a piss with him? Joe Rio, I promise everyone, right? If they if they strip City of a title or relegate them or something like that, I am going to put on a sausage roll party. Absolutely. And we'll, we'll present you your extra medal. You just go and pick one of yeah. them ones, even if they don't give you a real one. Go and get one of your old yeah. ones. We'll present it and we'll, we'll do 3,000 sausage rolls for everyone. On the table right now. Do you know what? Seven's bad, right? Seven's really bad, isn't it? Seven, conceding seven goals is so bad. Like, I, if we conceded more than that, I wouldn't even consider us a big club ever again. Well, can you, can you imagine it? if you conceded more than that? Steve. Arsenal conceded Steve. eight against No, Steve. they no, didn't. No, 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 no. Did no, no, they? No, no. Uh, like, it's a scout's camp. No, 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 no. We'll go and have a good time, <laughs> and we get a guitar out, <laughs> we have marshmallows, and we win fuck all. <laughs> what is the point, right? He got relegated. Them. They got them. No, they didn't. They got relegated. Did you ever get relegated? No, 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 no. no further questions. No. We said that Southgate had set up completely incorrect. He was wrong, but guess what? He proved us wrong. No, he didn't. No, right, he didn't. Listen, listen, listen. Let's talk real, right? England have progressed, but what have they done? They beat Senegal. That have got no Mane, no Canate, no Idris again. They beat Wales, they drew with America, and they beat Iran. If they beat France, 
I'll, I will hold my hands up and I will say fair play, but they're not beating France. You're probably on a list for being a manager at somewhere. At Chelsea? At Chelsea, yeah. For both of us? Yeah. Todd's wild. So, I, Lance might but not... If Frank Lamp Lampard got the interim job, I'm on a list. But listen, Lance might not make it to the end of the season. Has he only got it to the end of the season? I don't even know if it's then. It's just temporary while they figure out what's going on, I think. That's how mentally is. He's like, get rid of Potter. Who's going to manage? Don't worry about that. We'll figure it out. Uh, fuck it. Hello, Frank. He's wild. I can imagine him in, in literally going, fuck him up, Potter. Sign this. Sign him. We want him. Did he try Jack to sign Ronaldo everyone. Everyone. in the summer? Everyone. There was some Zizou. talk of Potter. What about Zizou? There was no, some talk of Zidane. And yet it's Frank Lampard who Frank. gets the keys. I'm doing anyway. two sausage roll parties this summer, right? Yeah. One of them's when the Glazers go, yeah. and the other one <laughs> is if you lot don't win the league. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah. you got a soft spot for Manchester United. No. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we knew it! No, we knew no, it! We, You've been to Old no, Trafford more than the Emirates! No, and if they finish outside the top six, is that success based off last seasons? With a clear head, yes, they've progressed. But it won't feel good, will it? That's what I'm saying. Is it a success? You, so it's progression, higher, but is it a success so based off what done. they've done? With a clear head, it is, but it won't feel like And it. that's why I say when you go, oh, Arsenal would have bitten your hand off last year for top four. I go, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> the objective, the change. objective, it's exactly. It's all changed. So if so. you're, if it's the, if it's the reverse eighty nine, yeah, where you end up eighty ninth minute, you you need a, um, you you concede a goal to lose the league on the last day of the season when it was in your hands, and you just have to hold on for another minute. Are you going to be philosophical about well, we came second, it was progress? Or are you going to be crying in the street like the rest of the Arsenal? I don't like the example. <laughs> <laughs> what shirt's that down there, by the way? That's uh, well, Robson. Right. Behind story for you. I've got a story. Go on then. So that is a Class of 92 wear. shirt, right? Right, okay. Do you know who signed that? Who? Class of 92. Do you know who else has signed that? Who? Rio. <laughs> Why? Because he's a melon. <laughs> 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 so Class of 92, yeah, just pure hard, ignoring everybody now. So Class of 92 uh, <laughs> played Salford when they took over Salford City and they had like Skulls, Gary Neville, like Rafi Burke and, and all of that. It was, it was a madness. Like the whole Class of 92 back together after winning it, minus David Beckham. Um, and I, I had all access. So we was in the change room and stuff like that. And I was, I was doing some filming. So I said to my son, go get this signed by all the players. And he does. And then um, we, we didn't have Rafi Burke. Got Rafi Burke just as we was leaving. Rafi Burke's like on the South Coast coaching somewhere now. Didn't really have much of a game in the, uh, career in the game. So you're never going to see him again. So I was buzzing at getting that one. He got like Ben Farnley. Got him up. And he's like, cool. He's like, got Rio as well. I was like, why? <laughs> 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 so we have got a signed, framed oh. 1992 shirt <laughs> signed by the <laughs> class of 92 and Rio. Those, it must be difficult for Rio debating with people that have never played the game. And he's not just talking about when he's on BT. He is. I think he's trying to talk about when he's on here. <laughs> yeah. Which yeah. is rude. He yeah, was, yeah, he yeah. was, he was. He was right. Yeah. Am I supposed mm. to try and do it smooth? Why are you asking me? Because you know more than I do. You've been the least one. I don't. Or do I just go I think it's meant gadoosh. to be smooth, yeah. I think it's meant to be smooth. It's like that. It's two that he's missed <laughs> for the record. And it's gone back down. It's gone in. So can I just say, do you think that Gareth Southgate has got a vendetta against Man United? Maybe. I think he's got a vendetta against players with any level of flavour in them. Don't, I didn't like the sauce. No sauce. No. He is a dry pasta eating, ready salty crisps. Like You're saying he has pasta, what? I no he olive oil. Sparkling water. Like. I got, I'm, I'm not here for that. Ready salted crisp, nothing more. Yeah. No prawn cocktail. Absolutely not. No That's roast beef monster much. Far too adventurous for him. Wouldn't go that Lorna Sinclair had an interesting comment. All right. Give me your thoughts on this. Steve has to lighten up on being such a hater with life. Wait. I bet he hates his own reflection. He needs to do some homework on people he hates on and. I think she's meant, she's meant to say, and he might learn something. You don't have to like everyone, but he should respect them. He doesn't know what goes on in people's lives. So lighten up. I'll watch to see what the next show looks like before I make my mind up if it's worth watching. See, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. 
Try it. You might like it too. Listen, Gareth Southgate burner account. <laughs> right? Because <laughs> who do we rinse in that episode? It was only Gareth Southgate, wasn't it? Do you reckon he's got... Gareth has called himself Lorna Sinclair. We know <laughs> Gareth Southgate. Lorna Sinclair's a, a anagram of Gareth Southgate uh, somewhere. Kind of. Uh, right? Maybe. I didn't even think of that. We <laughs> know Gareth Southgate watches. Because last week we said, we told you, he tucks his uh, shirt tails in his underpants. We talked about that last week. And then we said, the kid's got no flavour whatsoever. Then he comes out on TV. What did he do? Comes Switched out and tell it right up. With a zip up polo shirt, bold. What's all that about? Yeah, but what did he switch up though? He's Beads wearing a suit with some Air Max. <laughs> nice one for, for Jacob for coming on because obviously we couldn't get hold of him after the cup final. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on, on the time wasting thing, Newcastle played the fewest amount of minutes. In the Premier League, your games are actually the longest at nearly 99 minutes, and, and you've only played 51 minutes. <laughs> uh, that, that's <laughs> Therefore, you, you might minutes. say you're full throttle, but you're not full throttle. <laughs> and that's undisputable. However, I've got to give you some props yesterday. I got no complaints about the result yesterday. It, it honestly could have been a lot more than it was at 2 0. Mm. You out battled, you out fought, you outworked. Um, and you know, credit to Newcastle and the players yesterday because. That's exactly what you went and did. You was in United's face. You didn't let them play. You, you know, how many times did we see three, four, five men in the box every single time you was getting into the final third? And and United had just a back four, or or there was a, I think for the first goal, Delo's on his own at the back post, oh, letting three players three, around him. Three of them think, around him. Not good enough. So you know, I will say yesterday definitely full throttle. But the you know, we all saw. But the um, the time wasting things got some merit to it at least. <laughs> <laughs> We're charging around that much. I think sometimes, sometimes you need a little breather in that. Can't sprint for ninety minutes. Okay, I got some things to say, and Rio's <laughs> just totally glossing over this subject because there is two mates. Old, old on, Frank, then. who's on speed on, dial, then. he never gets told, does he? And uh, on, and Stevie G. I told Talk y'all about. he was gash. And th- that squad that he's got, it's outperforming or should be outperforming the results he's getting. This, you know, wh- what happened to the cool stare that he had? Yeah, staring the crowd out, delivers zero points, does a cool stare, hands in the pockets, walking out dead cool, behave yourself, right? I guarantee I'd win the league in Scotland with Rangers. No he problem. said this on the team chat yesterday, by the way. Did you see the, the the hard time you guys gave me on this channel last week? People were saying they saw they watched the last video two, three times. Just t- take it down. Just, just stay down. The reason you got a hard time is because on Monday we sat here and you're like, well, we're obviously beating City. Mm. The reason you got a hard time eulogy. is you, you you tossed it up. All we had to do was volley it in. Yeah, yeah and the eulogy. The eulogy was the killer. When you done that, you still I don't know how many points there are to play for, and you're reading that eulogies. Look, guys, you look, deserve we played, everything what, 23, you get. 20, we played 23 games. Yeah, I think, there I is think, eight, 15 I think, games to go. Uh, do you know what? It's hard being right all the time, so sometimes you have to get one that was only half right. It's a Stephen Housen tweet, ladies and gentlemen. 2016, the 2nd of January, by the way, 2016. Pep confirmed by City. Let's see how he does in the Prem then. I reckon he'll buckle under pressure. Won't last two years. In my defence, I didn't think he was going to get to replace players that he bought immediately. Oh, please. To the level that he has done. Oh, please. Do you know where it was? Spent more on defence than the American military. Ugh, seven years. Yeah. What did I say? Won't last two years. He's been here seven. So he's not lasted two years. <laughs> there you go. Like I said, half right. Do you feel like... Basically said Perisic is shit. <laughs> that no, no, I say Perisic is a failed winger because he's playing fullback now. Put some respect on Perisic's name. And I like please, Perisic. Steven Gerrard as a player. I as like a, Perisic. Steven Gerrard as a player. What about him? Put no respect for it. He's not as good as everyone thinks he is. Sky Sports treat him like he was Yaya Torre. And he wasn't. Yaya Torre was Yaya Torre. But Sometimes the way this show on, stresses me out. Good. It stresses it's me good out. Good to be challenged. I feel like you're challenging just what I know as right. well. There's something else I was right on. Frank Lampard shit, isn't it? <laughs> What's happening? Wait, I just wanted to reopen, mate. No. 
I have to put it in the group first. He blanks me now. How's your mate? He just blanks me now. He doesn't want to talk about it. No, I don't. What can he say? What can he say? I don't know. It's amazing what a good manager can do, isn't it? (laughs) How's Frank Lampard and Steven Gerrard not just being talked about getting jobs after the absolute massacring that they did on their club? They they should be taken to court for negligence the way that they managed both of their clubs. It was horrendous. Every, every week, Farah is the same. He doesn't miss it. He right, but am I wrong? It. Emery come in and was like, all right, let me roll my sleeves up. Has no one won more points apart from like... Seven no, he's done unbelievable. Two. That's what I'm saying. He's done, like, he's come in. Even when you hear Leon, like, Leon yeah. Bailey, yeah. When, when he, I, I don't know if you, you heard his talk sport interview. I'm, I'm, like, when he talks about the coaching that Emery uh, done when he went in, like it sounds unbelievable, and and it sounds like every player knows their role within that whole squad, and it sounded like under Gerard they didn't. Yeah, because look at the way Gerard played. He was a passion merchant that just played for himself. He didn't have the idea of a concept of a team. Like he was just a guy that ran around and Royal the Rovers did. Like there was no sort of concept. It's no surprise to me whatsoever that Michael Carrick looks like the 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 greatest manager the world's ever seen in the Championship. Absolutely rising up. Congratulations on Manager of the Month. And you got Steven Gerrard out here just like nearly relegating fuckers. You know what I mean? You're in a difficult position because you've had a good season. You should be happy. Real happy. Won something. Third probably in the league. Ten arcs at the wheel. Settled down. It's all good. What a trophy. Could win two more. Your best mate is going to win the league and then your rivals are going to win the Champions League and all sorts. How, what, where do you sit on that? Must hurt a little bit. Oh, absolutely. So what we're going to do is just deflect on Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of them. Go. You've got Liverpool and Chelsea fighting it out to try and get 10th. There's always someone to just go at. Yeah. Don't worry about us. Don't, uh, wor- don't worry about us. So we just ignore the Arsenal City situation. Yeah. What are Liverpool doing? Imagine what? it was going to... I'd love it if you went and Gareth Southgate stuck it on you. Stuck it straight on your toes. But here's the thing, right? He won't because there's no sauce in him. <laughs> so here's what would have happened. He would have gone and told the PA, who would have gone and told the media team, and then the media team would have gone, excuse me, Mr. Southgate's asked if you would leave the premises. <laughs> I'd love to see off. Southgate bang you clean out. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to happen, is it? Not going to happen. I doubt it, but it would be, be like, fun. can someone go and evict him? I'm just going to go and eat. I've got a multi-pack of ready salted in the office I'm going to go and I'm going to go and have a, a bit of a moment with. <laughs> Do you reckon when he's on a mad one, he goes salt and vinegar? Like at the maddest? Yeah, I bet he like takes his missus. He takes his missus. I'm going to have the salt and vinegar. I've had a Diet Coke and some salt and vinegar. I need to go and sit down. <laughs> We've got sugar rush. <laughs> <laughs> Man of the matches. I saw these and I saved them and I sent them into our group. The strangest Man of the Match awards ever received in football. So it's Common Salmon got a Pizza Express. He don't look happy about it. And one of the best replies to that was Conor Salmon's never got man of the match. <laughs> um, in Ghana, you're getting... That's uh, one of my favourites. Five gig a data. The data, yeah. Five gig a data, man of the match. And they've even made it, a ma- and they've even branded it man of the match as well. Yeah, it's a little SIM card thing. Um, back in the day, Stephen Glass, I think that's at Aberdeen. Is that the Coca-Cola Cup final? Um, yeah, must be. Getting a Coca-Cola bike. It's not bad, that. Remember the discs in the wheels? Yeah. They, they, they were like... I'll take that. I mean, that's, the, that's one of the better ones that I'm seeing. Um, it seems like in Eastern Europe you get live chickens in a cage. Now that's wild, because what are you supposed to do with it? Imagine walking back on the team bus with that. Um, what am I doing with this, lads? Uh, Zimbabwe Premier League, you get a crate of beer. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. And didn't you say that was what basically you got at Hendersford? Yeah. Hensford. Hensford. If you're going to tell me how to say, yeah, I did. Okay, fine. Hensford. Um, the Sudan Premier League, get a jug of oil. Never know when that'll come in handy. Yeah, well. And then the Carabao Cup, uh, Ben Rama got Crash Bandicoot. That, for the that's PS4. a coming. Why does he get that? Do you, how baffled was fucking Ben Rama the when Carlisle he got... The Carlisle Curry's... But, but Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Joe Riley's face on that is like... It's fucking He, he thinks he's been wound up here, doesn't he? Yeah. Listen, zombie apocalypse. Name me fucking three players from the Prem that you want on your team. Definitely not an Arsenal one in there. Carry on. No. Just carry on. Give me three. This is where we're at. The struggle's real. Three. I've got to think about what sort of skills I'm looking for here. Hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. They've all got to be aggressive for starters. Yeah. Or else what's the point? I'm probably just going to go United ones. Partially because I know the personality's a little bit better, I think. 
Well, throw them out there then. Martin has his first pick. Knew it. Fucking it's so be predictable. First pick. So predictable. Be first, right? Casemiro's probably second pick. But I don't tell you what both of them are going to do. Run and into danger. And get himself killed. Okay. Get himself bitten. That's all three of us, so don't worry about that. <laughs> what a shit team. It's not a shit team, though, is it? Because you've got to go ah, aggressive fast. The zombies are the coming. fucking three of us. You fucking, the little man, Casemiro, slid one and took a yellow straight away. And then you fucking <laughs> bored a hole and followed him in. <laughs> fucking crap tactic. What, so you're going for, like, what, yellow card dodges? Nah, but like, someone like Christian Eriks is going to work out a plan. He's going to work out I a plan. I don't want to live that long. How shit it's going to be when the zombies come. It's going to be mega for a couple of days. Really exciting. Yeah. And then you go, everyone no one likes, Dad. I, not that many and people I don't like anyway. But. I, like, I can't go buy shit that I like to buy. I can't yeah, go do shit that I like to take do. take it? No, because as soon like... It's don't all going to. bad, in it, early Bones. doors? You know what I think would be No great. more Greg sausage rolls. Yeah, I'm but do you know them. what I think was really good about this? Is instead of going fucking like Sainsbury's or whatever, and then you put your shopping through and the guy comments on it like he's fucking Ali McCoyst <laughs> doing a bit of polishing <laughs> oh broccoli yeah they're good those are aren't they tender stem yeah just fucking I don't want to have a conversation <laughs> I just walk in I fucking take it off the shelf I don't have to have that fucking you, chit chat do you know you can till. do that today what steal yeah if you want there is no one going to stop you if you steam in there there's a Morrison's 100 metres away if you steam into Morrison's just grab a load of shit and walk out, you can do that. Just, if that's your dream, go make it happen. I just want to say for people at home watching, any younger people, sorry about the language, and also we don't condone that sort of thing one bit here. I'm not saying steal. We don't condone, I'm condone just it saying on this channel or this show. You can do it. I don't condone that at all. BBC, I, all BBC I, I wanted to say it. was, <laughs> I don't want the fucking boring chat with the guy who then tells... Everyone like, well, fucking what I've got. Oh, baked beans. So you're happy, right? You're, you won't condone stealing, but you'll condone 98% of the world dying so you can go into Sainsbury's and not have a conversation. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? You're at happy two, for 98% of us. Well, it's not my fault. It's not my fault if, you, if the zombie apocalypse comes and you die. It's Check not this out. fucking my fault, is it? British Army's just done another evacuation of a load of people. What, on eSport? What? An eSport one. I think this one was real. Okay. In Sudan. So it's going off in Sudan, right? Might be a proxy US and Russia war. We've got a train in 10 minutes. Potentially. <laughs> I'm not making it. Either. Am I making it? Maybe if I not. go now, am I making it? We'll find out. Okay. Wrap it. <laughs>